Hi, I'm Nina Kaufman, founder of Business Exponential, helping B2B knowledge professionals streamline their business and earn what they deserve. Today, I want to talk to you about some things you can do if you're not eligible for a Paycheck Protection Program loan. Now, you may think, my God, the government is just minting money. They're throwing trillions of dollars at everybody. How could I not possibly be eligible for this loan? Well, you want to look at a few things. Now, I looked at it for myself, pulled up the application, and I am a sole owner of an LLC. So again, this is you know, make your own decisions. But there are some things that I looked at in terms of filling out this application that made me say, mm, not sure it's a fit. So there are things you want to consider, like what is the compensation you're declaring? Because that's part of how your salary is going to be computed. Uh, what are what is your net income? How do you feel about repaying this loan if you're not really as detail oriented about keeping track of how you're spending that money? There are very particular ways that you can spend it or not spend it. Do you have other sources of funds? I mean, do you really, really, really need this money? Or is it fair to let it go for other businesses that are truly, truly suffering? So all of those things, you know, can the loan be forgiven? Those are things to really think about. Do you need this loan? Can you pay it back? Now, if you decide that either you're not eligible or you're not going to apply for it, there are still some things you can do. Number one, go for collections. Look at your outstanding receivables. Talk to those clients. See if you can work out some kind of payment plan, whether it's on credit card or otherwise. You don't have to let that lay fallow. Another way is to look at how you can reduce your expenses. Are there technology platforms that you keep paying for month after month after month, but you're not really using to their fullest extent? Now's a great time to streamline or see, is there a newer product out there that can meet more of your needs? Now, also, there are some grants available, not for everyone, but uh, certainly well worth looking into, and those may be financial options that you don't have to pay back. And finally, I would suggest that you connect and pivot. And what I mean by that is reach out to colleagues, reach out to your clients, just call to say hi, see what their needs are now. That may help you pivot into a newer and a better business model or help you brainstorm with other colleagues about what you can do moving forward. And I invite you to go over to our, uh, our Facebook page at facebook.com. You'll, well, actually, you'll see, the, you'll see the link on the end. I won't spend your time reading it out. But go there and share. Let's brainstorm together about ways that we can all rethink our business, the business model, who we're serving, so that we all come out of this stronger. As Helen Keller said, alone, we can do so little. But together, we can do so much. Again, I'm Nina Kaufman from Business Exponential helping you own a business that doesn't own you. Thanks.